So we were two Harvard MBA students cross-registered into a seminary class about God and money. On the first day, the professor asks us to take a dollar bill out of our wallets. So I open up my wallet, and inside is a hundred dollar bill. That's all I've got. So I sheepishly pull it out, look over at John, and that's what he's got too. So there we were, awkwardly showing off our cash to a room full of seminary students. Not a great first impression. No, it was not the best. However, over the next year, we took a hard look at the Bible, Christian theology, and the financial lives of over 200 accomplished Christian business leaders. What we discovered is that money can indeed bring us freedom, purpose, and joy, but only for those who follow Christ with the right money mindset. You see, I'm a spender by nature and love to enjoy what I work hard for. Before this project, I was living in a fancy apartment, going out to all the nice restaurants every, every weekend, and taking fancy overseas vacations. But after meeting a young married couple just like us who decided to give $100,000 to their church instead of upgrading their house, I began to question my future plans. If Greg's a spender, I'm a saver, and I find security in building wealth. My online banking password before Harvard was retire at 40. My wife and I were actually saving 50% of our income before graduate school. But then we met a hedge fund partner who earns millions per year, but intentionally avoids building his net worth because he sees it as dangerous to his soul. He gives away all his extra income and has a blast doing it. His story challenged me to reconsider my ideas about building wealth. Our book, which is called God and Money, explores a growing movement of radical and joy-filled generosity in the body of Christ today, and is built upon a deep exploration of God's Word on this topic. Encountering the scriptures and stories that fill the pages of our book changed our lives forever, and we believe you'll learn a lot from them as well. So whether you're a high roller or just an average Joe, Join us in exploring what it means to become servants rather than just spenders or savers with our money. You can download a free chapter of our book from our website today. In fact, you can support Christian ministry by ordering a copy now because we've decided to give away 100% of the royalties from the book. As a man we greatly respect says, money is a lot like manure. If you let it pile up, it stinks. But if you spread it around, it does a lot of good. <laughs> That's good. That's <laughs>